Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23, and welcome back to the Earth Gift Shrine on Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. Okay, so I've gone all the way back through the Earth Gift Shrine. A couple of interesting notes. I did fight a monster called an Abyss Worm in the desert area of that of the Earth Gift Shrine, and oh my god, that thing was hard. It took me like three full rounds of attacks to take it out, and it hit my knight for like 300 damage. Ow! I did sleep at the inn in Corneria, as I said, and I healed up. I got some more potions. Let's heal fully up, because I don't know what exactly we're going to fight here. And I guess the treasure generation is slightly random in the areas, because I did pick up a couple interesting items. We got a blue curtain, which casts Null Shock. I suppose a black cowl, which uh, I guess is an equipment for the black magic. I didn't actually check. Oh! Now we're going to stick with the ribbon. Ribbons are better. Yeah. All right, so uh, I guess that does it. Let's save it up. And what is here? There are none who can stop me in all of creation. Oh, this is the upper right room, by the way. To you, you too shall fall before me, and you will not get my treasure. Oh, it's Aravon! Saravon? No, no, no. Let's do it. Let's set off the giant's gloves to give us ultra defense. Or to increase our weapon our weapon damage. White robe for Invisara. You should use the haste spell to make the knight faster. And use the hate spell make monk faster. Speed up, monk! Or master, or whatever he is. Speed up, knight! Oh, okay. He's taking it. He's using his healing items. Healing magic first. Weapon! Maximum power! Invisara! Some of these items aren't incredibly useful. Let's go ahead and throw some of them out. Let's use the red curtain. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of attacks this guy has. Throw a blue curtain out there. Let's cast Fokara and haste the ninja. Earthquake! Ah! Haha, <laughs> we have protection from death. So that doesn't work. Nasty, though, considering he is a flying monster, I can't blame him for using that attack. We use Fokara so we can hit him easier. Protection from fire. Speed up the ninja. Alright. Thanks, time to attack. Use the giant's gloves. I'll temper myself. Ah, oh, the caster. The, nin the ninja will cast that on himself. I'll cast Slowron Aravon. Maximum power weapon! Hiya! Sweet! Slow down! Got him! Giant's clubs! Fist! Maximum power! Let's get him! Proterra! To protect against damage! Though it's hard, it's hard for him to hit us anyway. Hiya! Defense! Up! Punch up, punch up, punch up, punch up! More dodgeability! We did it! We got him, we got a dry other, which I believe revives everything on one char character. Dry others. Where'd it go? It went to that hole, didn't it? Fully restores MP. Okay, cool. What's in this chest? It is a Mega Elixir. I believe that restores all magic points, I believe. Oh, there it is, Mega Elixir. Full restores, oh, full restores all parties HP and MP. Oh, nice. All right, well, we beat him. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go back through this area so we can fight the next guy. I'll see you in a little bit, folks. Okay, so I'm back. I have fought my way back through the Earth Gift Shrine. We are now in the lower left room. Let's heal up using some potions. I did pick up a silver apple on the way I gave it to the ninja. Like you really have noticed if I hadn't told you. And you notice we are getting a couple levels as we fight our way back through this continually multiple times. Let's see what's here. So you've managed to reach these depths. I commend you. But your journey ends here, I'm afraid. Mwahaha! The Silverus! Well, let's go through our standard giant's gloves. You go use the white robe, make us make us easier to dodge, make it easier for us to dodge. You start hasting. Oh no! Thunderbolt! 
No! Nothing actually hurts. Faster, Knight! Excalibur! Maximum power! Haste! Faster, Master! Dodge! Why the world am I using the Defender? What the hell? Okay, I'll have to switch. I don't know why I switched to the defender. I don't remember doing that. Oh well. Uh, let's let's continue. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll figure this out. Let's throw Null Shock out. I don't think it actually helps against that attack, but something. Oh, he doesn't have magic. Uh, let's have him use the giant's gloves. Try putting this guy to sleep. You just slowing him down. Ha, nice block. Slow down. Gotcha. Nighty night. Gotcha. Protection from lightning. This maximum power. And I'll do the same thing. I'll give you a little haste. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weapon! Maximum power! Speed up! Bunch up, bunch up, bunch up, bunch up, bunch up! Whoa! Look at that damage! Perterra! Just in case this guy gets any attacking ideas. We did it! We got the K Kotetsu. Very nice. Yo, why in the world does he not have the Excalibur on? Oh, no black towel. I'm pretty sure this guy could probably use the Kintetsu. Small katana designed for easy use, but the Sukes Blade is actually stronger, so we'll stick with that. Alright. We did it, so let's save her up. Get out of here, and I'll have to fight this place one more time to get to the last boss available. And those who played Final Fantasy III probably know what boss it's probably going to be. Be back in a bit, folks. Okay, YouTube, we're back. We're back at the lower right room, and let's fight the final of the bosses. You've done well to come this far, but you, won't, you will go no further, for I am a Echidna! I went ahead and moved some of my items right here to the front so I can grab them real quick. This is before. Go ahead and haste those guys to finish it, start us off. Speed up, Nate! Speed up, Master! Earthquake! This guy is a jerk. But his Earthquake doesn't work! We'll dodge easier. And... Knight! Maximum weapon power! We should use Fokara. And you haste the ninja. So he goes faster! Yeah. Let's make this guy easier to hit. Ow! Jerk! This maximum power! Better slow him down. Oh no! Another earthquake! No! Ha ha! You missed! Now we'll attack you! Bunch up, bunch up, bunch up, bunch up, bunch up! Slow raw! Better protect us from damage. Puncha, 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 puncha. You defeated me. No. And that does it for the Earth Gift Shrine. You got an next potion? Awesome. Let's get out of here. That's it. That's all the bonuses of the Earth Gift Shrine. Let's head back to Quinaria. Let's take stock of what happened. All right, I do need to revive on some potion, restock some potions. So let's head to the item shop. Next, we have a couple things we can sell now. Oh, uh, things that we'll just simply never get any use out of. I'll sell the Kintetsu, the, the cowl, 
The flame mail. We don't need it anymore. The bard's tunic. Oh, I'll go ahead and sell the speed drinks. I'll never end up using them. Uh, we'll sell the protect cloak. We don't need that. Uh, well, that's, that's about it. Okay. Let's go save at the inn. <laughs> We're maxed out in gil. <laughs> How come I can only hold 999,999 gil? Why can't I hold 1 million gil? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Well, our next target would be the fire, the fire shrine. And remember, we saw that up in the Cardia Islands. Let's go. We'll head this way to get there. Flying fast on our airship, it's so cool. Flying really fast on our really fast airship. I believe it is that right there. Here it is, the Hellfire Chasm. Let's try to avoid any initial damage here. What do you have to say? The heat surrounding the door is gone. But now that our prince has become a king, no one is likely to enter anytime soon. All right. Well, I think next time we're going to start exploring the Hellfire Chasm. This is Firewizard23. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.